Hello YouTube, welcome to my video tutorial on how to beatbox. Today I'm going to be teaching you something that I've never taught on YouTube before. It's called the kazoo. And if I were to execute the kazoo, it would sound like this. It sounds pretty bizarre, but it's really cool because I use it in beatboxing all the time. Um, I kind of use it for dubstep because I can't really do like the traditional dubstep just because like I'm a female and my voice isn't really that low. It's I have a lower voice for a female, but not as low as like a, a guy's voice. Um, so I when I use it for beatbox, it sounds like this, <laughs> something like that. I don't I don't really beatbox. I don't really dubstep beatbox that much, but. It sounds kind of cool. Um, so in order to do the kazoo, it's a little bit difficult and it's going to take some time to practice, but, um, oh well, practice makes perfect anyways. So what you're basically going to, I don't know if I'm going to be able to uh, explain this that well, but I'm just, I'm going to try my best. If it doesn't work out, I'll make another video and try and clarify things a little bit better. But anyways, so what you're going to do is um, find like your bottom lip. Make it so it kind of rests on the like the edge of your top teeth like this. Okay, excuse my duck faces that I'm making, but this is what you have to do in order to make this noise. Okay. Um, then what you want to gonna do is um, basically just hum outwards. Um, make sure no, making sure that there's no air coming through your nostrils. It's all just coming out of your mouth. Um, what's happening is when you do that, your bottom lip is actually vibrating on the sharp part of your teeth on the bottom here. Right here. So it's making a vibration here on your teeth right here. Um, it's a little bit difficult at first and it's not really gonna sound like much until you really get that sweet spot. And I found it. That's where you just really get a good tone and it sounds and it vibrates perfectly and it sounds just like a gazoo. I've, I learned that, like to me personally, higher frequencies are a lot easier uh, to produce than lower ones. So it, for example, if I were to do a high pitch, It's a lot easier to um, execute the kazoo than if it was a lower pitch. It's kind of, it's weird because you think about it, the higher frequencies, your lip vibrates a lot faster than it does the lower frequencies. That's why it's a lot easier to sustain um, a nice tone and still have that kazoo feel to it. So that's basically it. Um, you just have to really, it's basically just finding that sweet spot where to rest your top teeth on your bottom lip. And you just have to practice, make sure there's no air coming out of your nose. You're basically just humming the whole time. And at the same time, making sure that you keep this vibration going on right here. Um, I hope this video helped. If not, please comment down below any questions. And like I said, if I didn't explain this that well, I will, I'll try and make another video trying to clarify things a little bit more. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and I hope to see you in my next video.